Hi and welcome to my channel Read Write Plan. Today I wanted to share with you some of the stationery items I have bought over the last few weeks. I placed orders with Etsy and then I got some Kate Spade items from John Lewis and then a few items from a Filofax store. Starting with my stickers that I got mostly from Etsy. I have done a full blog post on this which I'll link below but I did want to highlight a few of the stickers in particular. Starting with the stickers I got from Stickers Washy and More. I particularly like these to do signs because they're slightly original rather than just plain flags but also the artwork is really beautiful and the stickers are good quality too. I also got uh, the plain arrows which I think is a nice option. And then from Oh Hello Stationery I just wanted to show you how vibrant the stickers are. The colours and printing quality is excellent on these stickers. Uh, I, I like to use stickers for functional basis which is why I like them to actually stand out quite a bit when I use them. And I think this is perfect for that. And then I'm always looking for UK sellers because I don't want to particularly pay high shipping costs for potential customs. And one shop I like is Ellie Beth Designs UK which is an Etsy store. Uh, from her I particularly like these checklists because you can see that there's a gap between each one which means I think you get more writing space and again the the print quality is quite good on these. And finally and possibly my favourite of them is these stickers which I bought from the Plump Planner which is a Facebook uh, store. You can choose which stickers you have on a sheet and actually two of these pieces of paper is actually one sheet so you get that together and you can also choose the size of the sticker you want so for example if you can tell the don't forget sticker is slightly bigger than my gymnastic sticker so I can get more on one sheet of those and what I love about these are the really cute designs on them so you've got the gymnastics here and the catch up and definitely my favorite little cute elephants on the don't forget stickers. I also placed an order with Scroby which is a scrapbooking company based in the Netherlands now the main reason I placed that order was because they sold the Me and My Big Ideas Happy Planner but I have a huge haul from Me and My Big Ideas so I'm going to do a separate video with that. The other things I picked up were these Remarks Summer Fun Stickers so they're journaling and phrase stickers and you get eight sheets with these lovely vibrant um, bright colours which I think will be great for my scrapbooking over the summer. Then I was delighted to find that the Scroby also sold the Studio L2E stick stamps. I already have the List It and Planet stamps, but I ordered those um, directly from the store, so I had to pay expensive shipping and a customs fee. So what I picked up from there are these weather stickers, then their market stamps, which as you can see uh, boxes and twirly lines. And then finally I bought these Happy Notes which are a variety of uh, boxes with different borders and then some general borders around them. And then they've got the words notes to do today to buy. So obviously great for planners as well as scrapbooking. From John Lewis I mostly bought from the Kate Spade Station range but I did pick up a couple of items from the Busy Bee range including these chalkboard labels which are just 30 labels of chalk and these are great because they are reusable as well so perfect for the kitchen or of course uh, to organise the office. Then from the Busy Bee range I bought these sticky labels which comes in this uh, little cute reusable tin and then there are 80 labels that come in a range of patterns and sizes and designs. From the Kate Spade range at John Lewis, the first thing I bought were these uh, paper clips which are the expletive range, so they've got the question mark and the exclamation mark. John Lewis did also have the bow paper clips which are more closely associated with Kate Spade, uh, but I didn't want to buy those. Next I bought the pen set. Um, there's a five pens, I think they all write in black, but I do like what's written on them. So you've got from the desk of so well composed, to whom it may concern, yours sincerely, and what's the word. Next from John Lewis I bought the shortlist, which is just a notepad with the numbers 1 to 8 in it. Um, I thought it was just a really pretty notepad and it's 125 sheets in that, so that's going to last me a while. Next I bought the Painterly Cheetah notebook set, which is two notebooks, one in the black and white, one in the cheetah print. Uh, inside it's lined paper and there are 80 sheets inside each one. And I just thought these are perfect notebook sized papers and the quality of the paper actually feels quite good as well. Then I bought the Gold Pavilion Spiral Notebook which is 112 lined pages but as you can see it's got this really pretty gold spiral inside it. And again the paper is a, a lovely creamy. 
colour. So the outside is the gold spots and the inside is the pink. Uh, and then finally from John Lewis I bought the um, Strike Gold Sticky Note set and I really like these because I think they look very elegant with just the small hints of gold on, on the majority of the uh, sticky notes and according to the back there are 100 sheets of each sticky note in the pad. And finally for this haul I bought online from Filofax. Now I was looking for something quite specific when I ordered. I wanted a notebook but I wanted to have the flexibility of taking papers in and out. I do have the ARC system which uh, is sold at Staples. What I didn't like about that was that the discs on the outside didn't seem to have much stability so I wanted the kind of stability from a band notebook. Um, a couple of years ago I did buy something from the Miracle Bind at Ryman's and I thought I'd try and pick up a couple more products from that to see if those would work for me. And the Miracle Bind, as you can see, is um, a spiral band but the papers are removable if you have the right kind of punch. And um, luckily because I bought that book from Ryman's I do have the right kind of punch. Now, as you can see, you can put the notebook back straight away, but because it has the binding on the outside, it feels a lot safer to me than in the ARC system. So I'm hoping this will work for my specific project I've got in mind. I also bought it in the black in the A4 and A5 size as well. Finally, from Filofax, I bought the clip book, which has the six rings of a Filofax, but is a notebook in nature. You can, you can actually fold it back. So according to the back, space for a pen and more... You could pull the cover to open the rings and you use flat or fold over. So I thought I might just try this out as well because of course I already have a Filofax punch and this is A5 size. Now what I will tell you about this is this really smells. I mean the cover of this really smells so I've been leaving it out um, for a while just to see if I can reduce some of the smell and I've had it about a week now and the smell hasn't gone down but I am hopeful it will improve with time. But I think this might work just as well as the Miracle Bind for the project, so I'm going to test them both out. So that's it for this stationery haul. I will have links to all the shops I bought from in the description box below. As I mentioned, I will have a video on my haul from me and my big ideas coming up soon. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.